Welcome to Vlogmas! Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Today's vlog is going to be all about coffee. First, we're going to try this. We're going to see how this holiday creamer tastes. And then I will teach you guys how I make my cold brew, so stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so I thought it was only fit to use my new Starbucks little travel mug so i have my i have instant coffee right here so i'm about to pour it in right here it is Second. literally brand new Tastes like sugar cookie. I like it. It's pretty good. I would not add that much next time. And my coffee's kind of dark. I didn't really add that much. But I would definitely not add a lot with this one. Um, it's very, very sweet. I don't really like sweet coffee that much. Um, I like my coffee to be sweet, but no tanto. Like, like sometimes the Starbucks ones are way too sweet. Like the caramel brulee latte. That one is way too sweet for me. I had less pumps and then I have more shots because it's too sweet for me. But this one, it has a really, really good taste. It does taste like Christmas, but I would add less next time. But that's for my personal preference. All right, you guys. So like, next up, we're gonna we're gonna learn how to make a cold brew coffee. All right, guys. So as promised today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make cold brew. You will be so surprised at how easy it is to make cold brew. Here are, here's all that you will need, okay? You will need coffee grounds of your choice. I have never tried this Kirkland brand, but I'm open to try it. This is Colombian coffee. This is a Colombian coffee one. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried Colombian coffee, but it's so strong. In college, I would use Colombian coffee to stay up, and I would literally stay up for two days without a flinch. But then the third day, I'd be like, <laughs> like <laughs> But anyways. This coffee is so strong, so I wanted to try it out from the Kirkland brand from Costco. Um, we'll also be needing one of these little cold brew like cheesecloth bags. Here's a new one. I got these on Amazon, but I will say these particular ones stain really, really quickly. I've only done cold brew about this right now is my third time doing it. It's supposed to be reusable. I literally wash them as soon as I'm done with this. And look how stained, you guys. It's clean, but it's so, so stained. Anyways, original is what it looks like. We're going to use this one because I'm going to use it at least up to five times and then I'll replace it. Because it's supposed to be reusable and I don't want to waste, you know? So you're going to need your little cheesecloth bag. You're going to need a container to put it in. Um, this particular one, I got it at like a Hispanic grocery store near us. And they sold water in here, but I thought it was a good idea to put our cold brew in here since it has a little spout. You're gonna need a cup, you can also use a regular cup, it really doesn't matter. And you're going to need some awa. Alright, guys, let's get started. Alright, guys, so we're ready. We're here at our working table. So the first thing you need to do is open your coffee. Brand spanking new from Costco. Mm. I love the way fresh coffee smells. So we have this right here. And then we're gonna take our cup, shut out cardenas, if you guys have one by you. So some people can either dump it in here, stir it with water. So depending on the person, some people just put it in here, stir it up with water, and then filter it after. But I don't like doing that. That's why I got the little baggies. Here's our cup. I'm going to use this one once again. It's clean, by the way. It just looks assy. And for this size, I'm going to use two cups of coffee. Thank you. 
this is kind of what it looks like here. I'm actually going to put a little bit more. So like a two and a half cups for this one. I'm gonna close it up. This I'm gonna leave outside and then I'm just gonna fill up this. So I'm just gonna close it up. Okay guys, so I have my cold brew right here. This is going to sit in the fridge for at least today. So the longer you leave it sitting in there, the stronger it will be. But I do recommend to take it out after like the third, fourth day because then it will start getting bitter and you don't really want that. So this is going to go in the fridge for two days and then I'll show you guys how it comes out. We'll do a little taste test. Here it is guys, super easy. The I learned how to do it because I would buy Starbucks so much, I still do. But that's only because I didn't have coffee. <laughs> That's only because I didn't have coffee at home. So now that I have this, I love doing iced coffees with my cold brew. It's so delicious and it's full of crack. Just kidding. <laughs> it's full of caffeine and it's so strong. Especially this Colombian one I just got. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls. Hey guys, welcome to another day of 25 days of Christmas socks. Um, I know you guys missed it yesterday, so we're for sure going to go today. So today is day 12. So I got these long ones, they kind of look like boy socks, to be honest. I think they're cookies and just a bunch of holiday little stuff. Okay. I got, uh, looks like R2-D2, a Star Wars character. Okay. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 13. Hey right, guys, so here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. A little short video for today about coffee. Let me know what's your favorite coffee, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye, guys.